Hi, my name is Akimika. Today I want to encourage you from the book of Revelation. Revelation. You see, in my opinion, I think the book of Revelation is one of the books a lot of Christians shy away from because of the way it was written. And but you know, unto you has it been given to know about the mysteries of the kingdom of God, right? And that's why Jesus came, right, to unveil, to reveal to us that there is no more hidden mysteries about God. God has revealed himself unto us in the person of Jesus. Anyway, Revelation chapter 2 and verse 6, the Bible says, I'm reading the Passion Translation. The Bible says, although to your credit, you despise the pra pr practices of the Nicolaitans, which I also despise. Another version will say, you hate the, the doctrine of Nicolaitans, which I also hate. There's a particular teaching doctrine that Jesus ate. Is called the doctrine of Nicolaitan. What, what does that mean? You see, if you have the Passion translation translation of the Bible, if you come to the commentary of the meaning in the Aramaic, it means performing of rituals. So to eat the doctrine of Nicolaitan will mean you eat the doctrine that makes you feel as if Jesus is not enough, that you need to also perform rituals. So any doctrine that make you feel as if, well, faith in Christ is not enough, you have to do some rituals, including maybe this, that. I don't want to mention stuff. <laughs> anyway, but you know what I'm talking about. Rituals, rituals. You have to apply something to something, in quotes, to get a result. The Bible calls that the doctrine of Nicolaitan. You have to get a particular anchor chief. Now, I'm already mentioning something. You have to use this. You have to use that. You have to use this. Nope. The Bible calls that the doctrine of Nicolaitan. Jesus said, I hate it. And as a believer, you should also eat it. You should be satisfied with Jesus. Jesus should be enough for you. No matter, you, know, I, you see, I understand. When people go through situations, when people are going through life challenges, we get vulnerable at times, right? And then it's almost as if you seem to put up with almost anything anybody comes to tell you. But the truth of the matter is you can rest even in the midst of tough situations, in the midst of storm. You can just depend only on Jesus and just say, I'm just going to put my faith in jesus the anchor of my soul so i i don't want to be tempted to start using other things to start performing rituals in quotes to get a particular result no christ is enough for me christ is enough for me another way to also describe the performing of rituals is when it comes to your salvation there are lots of people out there that, that think and just believe that their salvation is based on the number of rituals they perform or even their right standing with god they feel as if it's dependent on the rituals they perform. Again, Jesus ate the doctrine of Nicolaitan. In other words, Jesus is enough for you. Your faith in Christ is enough. You know, Philip in John chapter 14 will say to Jesus, Jesus, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus will say, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Everything you will ever need is already wrapped up in Christ. And in Christ, you can rest in him. It doesn't matter what you're going through, you can trust him. Instead of trying to use substance and use rituals and do this and do that, and just say Jesus is enough for you. Christ is enough for you. And everything you need is in him. If you're not getting a particular result right now in any area of your life, just trust him. He's dependent. You can trust him. The one who laid down his life for you, you can trust him. Right? He's dependent. So I just want to encourage you, let Jesus be enough for you. Eight, the doctrine of Nicolaitia. The doctrine that tells you you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do this. Either to get a particular result, making you feel as if the name of Jesus is not enough. Or, if you want to maintain a right standing with God, any doctrine that tells you that what Jesus did is not enough, you have to perform, you have to do rituals, you have to do this. Eight it the same way Jesus ate it. I think it's been awesome. God bless you. Amen.